Okay, you got you got just a, an, a, uh, an amazing amount of problems for the evolutionary theory. And I asked you guys, well, then where are the scientists going? And what they're doing is they're getting these off-the-chart theories, namely, it's got to come from some other planet or outer space or even aliens. Now, people might laugh, but this is really what they're saying, right? This is serious proposals that are being made because of the fact that we can't explain it uh, from a naturalistic perspective on the surface of the Earth, so they're saying it's got to come from the distant stars. And they're actually looking in astronomy to try to find a mechanism to drive homochorality. But all we can find is circularly polarized ultraviolet light that gives you a few percent excess of left-handed relative to right-handed, and in regions where you're not going to be able to preserve these uh, prebiotic molecules. Yeah, you said that's why NASA mm -hmm. is looking for life on Mars. And we need to tell the people that if you hear that they found some kind of life on Mars, in other words, organisms, bacteria, or something, okay, you're saying it could have come from Earth, number one, right. but number two, that the reason they're looking for it is because they can't figure it out from looking at Earth. Right. Explain that again. Well, as you point out, uh, you know, about nine million pounds or more of Earth-like material has been transported from planet Earth to Mars through meteoritic transport. So it's inevitable that NASA sooner or later will find the remains of life on Mars. It's got to be there because of its proximity to Earth. However, if they begin to check the DNA signatures and the protein signatures, they'll find that this is remnants of Earth life rather than indigenous life. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to bother to check, at least not initially, and therefore may uh, give an alarming announcement that they have found indigenous life on Mars. Ken, from this evidence, sum this up. What, what is the conclusion? Well, I actually think that uh, given that NASA and other origin of life researchers are looking to space, to alternative theories, this illustrates the real bankruptcy of any attempt to try to explain life on this planet naturally. I mean, I mean the philosophy of naturalism and materialism is in serious trouble.